India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in various fields like arts and science, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I am your host Shreya Savijay and today in our episode of My India, We'll take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of our country stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. <music> India is known for its vibrant culture and varied beliefs where the onset of each season is accompanied by a number of celebrations and festivities. One such festival celebrated during spring season is Holi. Also known as the Festival of Colours, Holi is celebrated in various forms across different Indian states and cities. So, in this episode of My India, we'll take you to witness the festivities of this cheerful festival which was recently celebrated all across the nation. Have a look. One of the most revered and significant festivals of India, Holi, was recently celebrated round the country with immense vigour and excitement. The festival falls in the month of Falgun, which coincides with the Gregorian month of March. Also known as the Festival of Colours, this great Indian festival lasts for a day and a night, which begins with the night of full moon or Purnima according to the Hindu calendar. Holi is celebrated with different names and in different forms across India. A festival predominant to the northern region of the country, the Festival of Colours was celebrated with great zeal and enthusiasm in northern cities like Varanasi, Mathura, Vrindavan and Rishikesh. The city of Barsana welcomed Holi in the form of a unique festival called Latmar Holi. According to the traditional unique custom, while celebrating Latmar Holi, men sing provocative songs to gain the attention of women who then beat them with bamboo sticks called Latis. Like every year, this year too, people in India's Uttar Pradesh celebrated Latmar Holi with full enthusiasm and ecstasy. अपनी मजबूत लाठियों से प्रार करती हैं हमारे पास डाल है डाल पे उन्हें झेलते हैं कन्हैया लाल का जयकारा करते हैं और इस समय जब तक ये लीला चलती है सूर्यास्त नहीं होता है होली इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज द याउशंग फेस्टिवल इन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न रीजन ऑफ मणिपुर सेलिब्रेटेड बाय द मैते कम्युनिटी द फेस्टिवल इज आल्सो नोन एज द होली ऑफ मणिपुर Burning of the traditional Yaoshang, which is a small thatch hut, marks the beginning of this festival, which is followed by Nakateng, an age-old tradition of house-to-house -house donation campaign by small children. Traditional songs and dances are also performed by devotees on this day. बहुत धूमधाम से बना रही है वो श्री गोविंद जी के मंदिर में ये पेशकारी वो होली खेल रही है ये खत्म होने के बाद वो पाँच दिन का सुबह में हम वो विजय गोविंद तक जाएगा इसी का विजय गोविंद में उसका हम होली बनाएगा इसी को लास्ट दे मीन वाइल द लैंड ऑफ पंजाब सेलिब्रेटेड अनादर फेस्टिवल कॉल्ड होला मोहल्ला विच इज सेलिब्रेटेड एवरी ईयर इन अनंतपुर साहिब सिटी एंड अमृतसर large number of spectators gathered at the Takht Shri Keskar Sahib Gurudwara 
the second most important Sikh shrine to witness men dressed in traditional attires, displaying their bravery and skills in ancient martial art known as Gatka and sword fighting in the colorful ceremony. It is these festivals celebrated in India that signify the spirit of brotherhood and unity and impart the message of triumph of good over evil. Compassion, love and kindness is the essence of all religions. In a multi-religious society of India, where almost all the religions exist, it is these characteristics that have kept the people together since ages. People here not just have mutual tolerance among themselves, but also bear equal regards for the beliefs of others. This unity could be well witnessed at the shrine of Sufi Saint Chansa Baba in the Midnapur town of West Bengal, where people of all faiths gather under one roof to have the blessings of the saint. Beautifully decorated with flowers and garlands, the Dargah of Chansa Baba, located in Mahalla area of West Bengal's Minnapur district, is an abode of peace and tranquility where people cutting across religious lines come to offer prayers regularly. Devotees offer special prayers at the shrine and pray for the well-being of their family and the nation. समस्त जाति का आदमी लोन औरत माँ बहन जो भी है सारा सिर्फ मिदनापुर नहीं मिदनापुर छोड़के बहुत दूर 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 से भी आदमी लोन यहाँ पे आ रहा है और बाबा का मजार में जो प्रार्थना किया है उनका चादर चढ़ा रहा है और कंटिन्यू चादर चढ़ रहा है और उनका इनका महत्व जो है आज एक यूनिटी यूनिटी किसको कहते हैं और भात्र Sufi Saint Chansa Baba has remained a renowned figure among the people of Midnapur. During his entire life, he has worked for the well-being of humanity and promoted love and brotherhood. In 1980, after the demise of the Sufi Saint, a shrine was built in his honour by one of his Hindu disciples, Chamat Kumar Setwa. He has been serving as the harbinger of communal harmony and peace after his Guru. यहाँ बाबा का ऐसा करिश्मा यहाँ खाली हाथ से कोई नहीं फिरता है बाबा ऐसा ही दुआ करता है आदमी को आने ही पड़ता है सब संपदा के मानुष आता है और बाबा का दुआ मानते हैं बाबा दुआ करता है आदमी आता है Today the site has become a center stage for the people coming from diverse religious backgrounds to meet and revisit the path of peace and brotherhood. The shrine of Chansa Baba has become an epitome of communal harmony among its many visitors who believe in virtues and wisdom their beloved saint has propagated among them. Now, a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Authorities in India's northern Srinagar city of Jammu and Kashmir territory are taking steps to beautify houseboats to enhance the beauty of Jhelum River and give a fresh impetus to the tourism sector. In Smart City, we have taken a project in Jhelum River, which is the houseboats in Jhelum River. One is the color code of the improvement. Besides, the families are going to support the children's education, for the tourism and training, for the skill development. The Jhelum River is the most important part of the Jhelum River. The workers were seen painting houseboats as part of the beautification drive launched by district administration for improvement of condition of houseboats along the Jhelum River. रंग रोजन किया ठीक है हमको लगता है वो अच्छी बात है रंग रोजन किया साफ सफाई किया वो अच्छी बात है उससे अच्छा रहेगा कि ये बोलते हैं हम स्मार्ट सिटी बनाएंगे और देखेंगे कैसे रंग रोजन के जैसे अगर इन्होंने कंटिन्यू टूरिज्म पर मेन चीज है टूरिज्म आना चाहिए कश्मीर वंस डब द स्विट्जरलैंड � that were drawn to its soaring peaks and surreal beauty.
Monks in India's northern Shimla city held special prayers for the reincarnation of a Tibetan High Lama, Taklin Tsetru Rinpoche, on Saturday. Monks chanted prayers and played musical instruments at the Dorji Drug Monastery as they wished for the swift return of the Lama. ये उम्मीद तो वही है कि स्पेशली क्या है हमारा जो गुरुजी का रीइंकरनेशन जल्द से जल्द हमारे साथ हो असल में हमारे को दर्शन मिलो फिर से फिर पहले की तरह हमारे जो नॉर्थन ट्रीजर जो होता है उसका पालन फिर से अच्छी तरह जैसे कि पहले जैसा था वैसे करके फिर दुनिया को सुख शांति का मेन यही है Setrul, who died in 2015, was recognized as the head of Nyingma School, one of the important sects of Tibetan Buddhism by the Dalai Lama in 2012. According to Tibetan Buddhism, the High Lamas offer prayers and forecast how and when the body will be cremated, as the Rinpoche decides the time and place of his rebirth. Moving on, Japanese cuisine encompasses regional and traditional dishes of Japan. A variety of Japanese dishes are gaining popularity around the world. Mitrashi dango and onigiri are two such popular traditional Japanese dishes that provide an insight into the traditional Japanese cuisine and attract a large number of tourists from across the world. Let's have a look. These keyword cheeses that appear like white balls are called dangos. They are considered as one of the oldest traditional Japanese desserts. They can be found in most of the traditional markets. Tangos are available in a variety of flavors, but the most popular type of tango is mitarashi tango. それをこうまあ焼いていただいて、その上に先ほど言いましたあのお醤油とお砂糖で作ったタレをかけて召し上がっていただきます。まあポイント的には温かいタレをかけていただくとより香ばしい感じがしますので美味しいと思います。A good tango can be distinguished from its elasticity as well as its softness. It melts in the mouth immediately. It is said that the best match of tango sweets is green tea, as the green tea cleanses your palate and enhances the taste of the sweet. あの昔は取れたお米のいいお米はまあ売ったりとか奉納したんですよ。で中にはその割れてしまったりとか色が変わったちょっとね一般的に売れないようなものがあったんです。それをこのように引いて再利用したのがお団子なんです。ですので一つはまああの。These days, this delicious sweet can be found in Japan's supermarkets or convenience stores. However, it is hard to beat the authentic taste of the tango sold in real tango shop. Mitarashi tango is very popular, so Mitarashi tango. 見かけるとちょっと食べちゃうんですけど、なんでしょうね。ホッとするというか、美味しいですよね。高木屋のお団子っていうのはあの食べた感じがあのすごいコシがあって伸びる感じですか。だからお餅と間違えるようなお団子を作ってるんで、その辺を注意してやってみます。お団子のコシですか。お団子の硬さですね。そこが一番重要なポイントなので、そこはみんな他の人もそこを重点的に見てやって。Japanese traditional sweets are popular among tourists as they provide a unique taste of Japan's history. This is a must-try experience on a visit to Japan. These triangular rice balls are called onigiri. They are a great example of how inventive Japanese cuisine can be. These are specialized shops in Tokyo which only sell onigiri. This can be ordered for eat-in or take-out. Due to the popularity of this food in Japan, onigiri has become a popular staple in Japanese restaurants worldwide. Eh, Japan's onigiri, ah, no, onigiri, de, de, sankaku ni shite, 
でこぼれないように海苔で巻き物です今は55種類ありますね、はいまあ、日本のフードじゃないですけども梅だとか昆布だとか鮭だとかそういう日本に合った日本人に好きなものを今入れてますおにぎり is a comfort food for many Japanese people bringing upon nostalgia that reminds them of their childhood It is also a common on-the-go meal for many of the workers in Japan. It is a popular dish that can be found throughout the country. おにぎりもいろいろあると思うんですけれども、ここのおにぎりがすごく好きなので、来てよかった、仕事頑張ってよかったって気持ちになります。Rice for onigiri needs to be cooked properly and folded with care. This is to ensure that the rice is fluffy and ready, otherwise, it won't be good to use. I was born in the early days, and my father and father m In Japan's history, from the Kamarkura period to the early Edo period, onigiri was used as a quick meal. At that time, onigiri was simple as the rice was flavored with salt only. But as time passed by, people became more creative and developed new flavors like fried chicken and mayonnaise. This delicious food is one of the first things visitors are keen to try in Japan, since onigiri can easily be found at any convenience store. These onigiri shops provide a chance to taste an authentic home cooked style meal in Japan. The hallmark of India is its diversity. Its citizens are of a heterogeneous mix of different religious communities and cultural backgrounds. The secular bond between diverse communities is very well witnessed during the festivals of India. Known as the Festival of Colors, Holi is popular not just in the Hindu community but all other circles of the society due to fun and frolic related to it. Similar scene was witnessed in the Dayalpur area of capital city of New Delhi, where people from Hindu and Muslim community celebrated the grand festival together. We have a report. The Festival of Colors, Holi, is one among the grand festivals of India. People of India across the states celebrate the festival with full fervor and gaiety. Although it is a Hindu festival, people belonging to different faiths get enamored with fun and frolic of Holi. People splash colors while greeting each other and exchange sweets on the occasion. Similar celebrations were seen in the Dayalpur area of the capital city, New Delhi. I am here for 35 years. For generations, Muslim and Hindu communities have lived their lives together. They celebrate each other's festival and help each other in every situation. I live here for 36 years. I live here from my childhood. There is a lot of love. Everyone is one. There is no problem. There is no problem. Everyone is happy and happy. It's very good. It's very good. Everyone is happy. 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 Such example of peaceful coexistence and unity among the various communities could be seen in every nook and corner of our country. 
It not only strengthens the secular bond of our country, but also propagates a message of communal harmony for whole of the world to follow. It's been said that there is no more effective tool for development than the empowerment of women. Women in India have now entered almost every field and have proved that they are no less than men in any aspect of life. On the occasion of International Women's Day, a number of women bike rallies were organized in various cities of the country to celebrate womanhood. A report. Various organizations and individuals held women bike rallies in different cities of India to celebrate International Women's Day. Rallies were organized in cities like Bhubaneswar, Nagpur and Surat as a show of female vigor and valor. It's a very huge impact. We are focusing on uh, women equality, each for equal to his barka concept. This bike ride particularly is to focus on uh, violence against women, right against violence against women. That's why you are seeing Rani Lakshmi Bai's attire, she is riding. Interestingly, she has also put on a helmet under the turban, which you can see. So we are focusing on uh, road traffic rules also. We will be following all the rules. Thousands of women took part in these rallies. They participated with posters and placards with different slogans written on them. Women rode scooters and motorbikes in their traditional attire and headgear as a message to retain the originality of an Indian woman and impart the message of equality. This is the आज सब पूरी दुनिया को देखेंगे कि महिला कुछ भी कर सकती है और महिला के लिए सेफ्टी भी बहुत जरूरी है हर महिला को सशक्त होना बहुत जरूरी है जब एक महिला सशक्त होगी तो परिवार सशक्त होगा और परिवार से समाज और देश सशक्त होगा आज हम ट्रैफिक रूल्स जो हम अनफॉलो कर रहे हैं उसको भी हम फॉलो करना चाहते हैं और यहां से एक संदेश देना चाहते हैं कि हम ट्रैफिक रूल का फॉलो करें और हम महिलाओं को सशक्त बनाएं हमारी महिलाएं कहीं भी अबला नहीं है आज की महिला सबल हो चुकी है और वो हर परिस्थितियों का मुकाबला करने के लिए पूरी तरह से तैयार भी है इंटरनेशनल वुमेंस डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन 8 मार्च एवरी ईयर इट वाज फर्स्ट ऑब्जर्वड इन द अर्ली 1900स it celebrates the social, economic, cultural and political equality of women around the world. Various rallies, events and campaigns are observed in different countries to celebrate womankind and its competence. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at mindia at nin.com. I'm your host Shreya Savijay and it's goodbye from the entire production team.